Hi, good evening everybody. Ronnie from Whip and Chain along with Maggie and Lauren. Tonight, or today, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little ornaments. Don't get scared. It's actually very, very easy. I did um, crochet thread on these. Where they're nice and thin. And then I used a number two thread on this one, which gave it a little more definition. Looks really pretty. Love them all. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about the yarn first. Now this is the yarn that I used for the red and green one, Aunt Lydia's uh, crochet thread. Um, it's a zero. It works up great. As you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. And don't let this yarn or thread scare you. It's it's actually a quite easy pattern and it adjusts quite well. And then the cotton, the white that I'll be doing was the Premier Cotton Fair yarn that I used. So you will definitely need an ornament. Mine are glass. I looked for the plastic and couldn't find them. One thing I did find out is they come in many different sizes and this pattern will adjust to most of the sizes which is great. Okay, so you need that. You need a 2.5 millimeter hook. You need your darning needles, always need them. I got my scissors and I got the yarn that I'm using. All right, I have the first thing I wanna go over with you is a magic ring. A magic ring is something that I haven't taught and I will be doing another video on it, but the magic ring works really good for this pattern. So I wanna show you how to do that. You take two fingers, let me, Zoom you out a little bit. You take two fingers. You wrap the yarn around it, and when you come back up, you cross it on your fingers like that. Okay? You take your hook, and you go underneath, and you grab the back one. When you bring it up, you twist it. Okay? Then you take your hook, and you go under that back string and then after you go through it you just go through one chain. I'm going to show you one more time because it when I learned it it took a while. Alright so you take two fingers you wrap around once then when you come over you cross it and you make an X. Okay then you take your hook and go underneath you grab the back one and when you're pulling it under you twist it okay and then you grab the yarn that's on top and go through and you make a hook then you drop your tail and then when you crochet you just crochet over both um, both pieces, okay? Because if you only crochet over one, it won't work. So now what I want you to do, well, we already chained one, so I want you to chain three more. One, two, and three. And now I want you, after you chain your three, put in another double crochet right in that circle. Now, before you go any further, I forgot to mention you should have a stitch marker just for this row only. It will come in handy. And you put it at the top of that chain three. So you know where it's at. Okay. So now I just want you to put, there's already two, 18 more double crochets in it. And as you're going, you can pull this 
and tighten your circle, okay? Double crochets, a total of 20. That counts your chain four and these two, okay? I'll see you at the end of the round of 20. Okay, I'm on 19. And 20. So after you got your 20 in, pull your magic ring to tighten it so it looks good. And you slip stitch to where you put your stitch marker. And that's the only time you really will need your stitch marker in this program. Program, yeah on this pattern. All right. Next round. Really easy. I want you to chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip one stitch. And the next one, put a single crochet. Chain four. Skip one single crochet. And that's what you do all the way around. Chain four. Skip one. Single crochet. Skip one. Single crochet. All right, I'll see you at the end. Okay, I'm on my last chain four, and then you slip a stitch into that beginning one at the bottom. Okay. Two, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should have ten of these. Okay. Now I want you to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you single crochet just in the loop, not in the chain, directly in the loop. Okay. So one, two, three. Four, five, directly in the loop. One, two, three, four, five, directly in the loop. Single crochet. Single crochet and single crochet. And single crochet. Crochet. How are you guys doing so far, huh? Good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. Now on your last one, one, two, three, four, five. Just 
single crochet. Do not slip stitch those together because if you do, it'll take it out of balance for your 10. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you hook that, that'll make 11. So please do not hook that, okay? Leave that open. For the next round, in the chain here, in the chain right here, I want you to put three single crochets. Okay, chain nine. Nine, okay. Then in the next, your chain spot, three single crochets. And that's the repeat. Okay, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, three single crochets. One more time. Chain nine. nine and three single crochets and I will meet you at the end okay okay I'm doing my last chain nine and I'm slip stitching into the first single crochet And after I slip stitch, I just do one chain. Because we need to cut. Now, this, because it's weaved in, is safe to cut. Okay. Alright, so here she is so far. Pretty cute. All right. So now, oh. need to get a slip knot. you just slip your chain into any one of these top points okay this is an easy round so chain nine and single crochet the next peak and that's it. One, two, three, four, nine, and you single crochet the next peak. Chain a nine and single crochet. All right, see you at the end. Okay, coming around. Two, three, four, seven, eight, and nine. And I want you to slip, stitch right in.
Okay. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Okay. Now the next round, each of these chain nines will get 12, just no chaining and nothing, 12 single crochets. Then you just go right to the next one, no chaining, no nothing. And I'm locking in my extra yarn underneath. Just go right to the next one. I'll see you at the end. Okay, I have six. So six more. Six, seven. Eight. Okay, so now I want you to slip stitch to the sixth chain up here, okay? Just slip stitch. So now we're going to be making the chains that go up to the top of the of the ball. So when you put your your ornament on it, you can lift it up and see how long of a chain. Now I have the smaller balls, so my chain is 12. The bigger balls, I would suggest probably 16 ish. So you don't have to fuss with that a little bit to get the right amount, but I know I need 12, 2, 3, 6, 8, 11, and 12, and then you single crochet in the 6th chain. On the next one. So mine are 12. Does not have to be perfect, just close to this the middle one.
Okay, and you do that all the way around. The thing I like about this pattern is it's adjustable for the different sizes. And 12. And you slip stitch into your beginning. Okay. And then what I do is I chain one and I just slip stitch again. Just whoops. Slip stitch again just to try to help secure it a little bit. And you can weave in your ends in if you don't feel it's secure. Okay. Now I need you to cut a piece of string about three times the, the circumference of this and I want you to take your string and in the outside loops just weave it in and out okay all the way around to the first one. Okay. And you put it in the first one that you started. Okay. 
Looks like a little basket. You take your ornament and put it on. You take your string and you start pulling. And then you move it around to adjust it to where you need it. But this is what I said, you'll have to adjust these. Remember mine are 12. The bigger balls will probably be 15 or so. But you play with it to what you want. And you got it to where you need it. And tie it off. Hold it as tight as possible. Then I recommend you wrap it around the top and just do another tie. And then you cut your string. And there they are. Isn't that beautiful? These are great, great. I'm going to fill mine with them. Fake snow. All right. Thank you, guys. It's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. Please subscribe and follow us. We have a Facebook page, Whip and Chain. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great night.